You've heard this idea before, everybody. Now the IMF is recommending a bank tax for G20 nations to pay for bailouts. We partner with the Financial Times to bring you Lex on Bloomberg, so you can get a sneak peek at the FT's flagship column a day early. Richard Stoven Bradford is joining us now live from London. Richard, the IMF says it wants banks to make fair and substantial contributions. What exactly does that mean, fair and substantial, and how are banks going to react to that? I think banks feel somewhat ambushed by the proposals. They'll battle, though, in the current political climate to argue that these are unfair, but they are substantial. There's a flat rate levy on liabilities that's been proposed, and th those liabilities include typically wholesale funding and short-term short -term, um, debt or foreign liabilities. And that will pay for a financial cleanup, and that could go either into a fund or just into general taxation. Yeah, and then there's a second the gloriously named, I think, FAT or financial activities um, tax in the, in the on profits and remuneration, uh, and that that was not not expected by the banks. Um, the IMF's proposal that all financial institutions, so that includes insurers, pay pay this levy was also not expected. So that's a surprise for investors too. And guess who's going to be paying for this? It's going to be you and me, the guys that pay bank charges and that pay for our policies. Well, uh, at least we're paying out of one pocket and perhaps back into another because we're taxpayers as well and we funded those bailouts, Richard. Let's talk about what happens next because we do have meetings between uh, the I at the IMF and the G20 this weekend. Uh, you talked about a couple of unpleasant surprises. We know that the Obama administration supports attacks on liabilities at the very least. So what kind of consensus might we see emerge this weekend? There could well be broad, um, broad agreement across the IMF proposals, after all, if you like, frame the, the debate this weekend. Um, but basically, there's a reasonable chance that uh, there will be broad agreement. However, take Canada and Japan, who are countries that didn't suffer particularly from bailouts. They had very well-regulated financial sectors. They, didn't, they don't need this. They're blocking it. All right, that's Richard Stoven Bradford, live from the Lex desk in London. Richard, as always, we thank you. Now